It seems that AJX is turning more and more heads as more and more people begin to recognize its real potential. That is great news for you and I, because it means that it's only going to get easier to use it. But at this point in time, we still need to do a bit of computer computering to make it work. Hello, it's me, and today I'm giving you a hand on setting up AGX config for OCIO v2 supported programs. OCIO or Open Color IO is a color management, whatever that means, solution for pixel nets. To put it in plain language, OCIO is sort of like a plugin that is gaining traction as more and more software begins to support it. It's also the default color management system for software like Blender and Olive. It's supported by a bunch of programs and the list is expanding rather quickly. Also ACES. OCIO is awesome and it's quite flexible. The main configuration file is human readable and can be edited in order to add input or output color profiles, displays, etc. That configuration file is then loaded by the software of your choice. The implementation of OCIO will differ, but rest assured that once you understand the process on one application, you will quickly understand the process in others. This, in theory, should provide identical results, no matter what pixel pushing software you choose to use. Now, there's a few ways to set up an OCIO configuration. There are local setups that come with the software. If you download Blender or Olive, they will both have separate OCIO setups, but they do the same thing. In Olive, you can always quickly swap configuration files by going to the project properties. That's fine. But once you get into making edits to the configuration file, it becomes a pain in the backside to keep all their OCIO configs up to date. And this is the point where you switch to a global OCIO setup using the environment variables. My tutorial is going to be limited to Windows, as I'm currently stuck with it on this machine. First off, we need to download the AGX source files from Troy Sabotka's GitHub. Click code and then download zip. Unpack the folder and keep it somewhere safe. For example, I keep mine in the Google Drive folder, so I have it automatically backed up if my machine decides to set itself on fire again. Now all you need to do is start typing environment variables in the search bar Click on edit the system environment variables and click on environment variables to open the environment variables window. Click new to create a new user variable and in its name type in OCIO. The variable value needs to be pointing at the config.ocio file. Let's do that. AGX main config.ocio. I'll select that. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that's that. Every program that has OCIO support should now use that OCIO setup by default, unless set otherwise manually. Many people have shown interest in how I develop photos with AGX. While I can't share the full setup yet, I can show you how to make your own. First of all, we'll need an EXR file, preferably. We've already shown how to convert your camera captures into EXRs in a different video that I've linked below. So I will assume that you have an EXR ready. Okay, let's open Blender and let's move straight to compositing. I'll close that down. Make sure that AGX is selected in the color management section. Here. Now, instead of this render layers, we'll need our input image. So just drag and drop, connect that to the composite and the viewer, select the image and expand properties. Now let's go to output properties and let's copy these dimensions. We'll put 30% for developing as it will be quicker to update the changes. Once I need to render it, I'll put it back at 100. We can now add the basic development notes, such as exposure, 
color balance and maybe saturation let's also go to view and just click fit oh and don't forget to set the color balance node to cdo that will give us curve controls i will increase the power slightly that will increase our perceived contrast i'll boost the exposure maybe add some saturation that doesn't look bad and i'll i'll pretend to grade this photo a little bit so i'll add some colder tones like so now we can set this to 100 and click render and this is our image agx did a stellar job here i think we can now go to image save as and choose your favorite file format done next olive will work very similarly to blender let's import some srgb footage I've captured this dumb video on my phone, so it will most likely be in sRGB. But ideally, you would either feed it linear Rec. 709 footage or some sort of log footage. That log, whether it's S log, C log, F log, or any other log, will have to be set up in the config.ocio file. Now, let's drop that clip into Olive. Put it in the timeline and set the view to AGX. Let's select the footage. Let's go to the node editor and add a simple OCIO color grading node. Now switch back to the parameter editor and we can now do some basic grading. Notice that even if all we had was the sRGB footage, it's still miles better to grade in AGX than do your usual sRGB grading process. Um, let's put that to the test. I'll start increasing the exposure. Notice the viewer turn gracefully to white. Now let's try that with the sRGB view transform. I'll reset the node. And I will start increasing the exposure. Notice how the C breaks into the nuclear scion. Ugh. Okay, enough. This is pain. More of these tests can be found on my S-Log to AGX video, linked in the description. I think that's about everything I wanted to touch in this video. I know that felt like a slap in the face with an instruction manual, but I really wanted to get everyone started ASAP, which means I had to cut some corners. Now I do have a wish to expand on each of these subtopics, because it's still not very easy to develop photos with OCIO and AGX. And I really do hope that increased interest will somehow push the software developers to adopt this open standard quicker, and maybe in a more user-friendly way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.